Lady Gaga's dog walker seems to be in trouble these days. Dealing with physical and mental trauma since the shooting, Ryan Fisher is asking for donations. Wandering door to door, he is essentially broke and has nowhere to go. So why is it happening to him? Why is Lady Gaga not coming up front to help him? If questions like this intrigue your curious mind, then stay with us because this video is the perfect place for you. So sit back and stay with us until the end to find out how fans react to the whole thing. Before we begin with the video, please take a moment to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you get notified when I come back with another video. Without any further ado, let's jump right into it. The dog walking hero who was fatally shot while protecting Lady Gaga's beloved dogs says he now feels abandoned and unsupported, rendering his current housing condition and him begging for money. It's not an easy thing to ask, Ryan Fisher, 40, wrote while placing a GoFundMe call seeking $40,000 to help him buy a pickup truck. Fisher began his journey soon after he got out of a hospital in Los Angeles. He is a hero who took the shots on himself while caring for Lady Gaga's dogs during their walk routine. After the incident, two out of the five dogs were stolen and Fisher went under a major surgery which is basically the reason behind his bankruptcy today. His donation campaign includes a video of him lying in a hospital bed along with footage of gunshot wounds and the music of someone shouting anger more than ever. He also said in a video, Sometimes I was scared. I was alone. I feel abandoned and unsupported. I suffered from depression, doubt, and self-pity for a long time. Recently, however, he was saying goodbye to Trudy, the semi-reliable Ford Falcon rented in 1991, sailing like a boat in the high winds, as he cruised around the United States on his way back from Gaga's home. Lack of money is making this man do a lot of things he never thought of doing before. In the campaign, he is constantly saying, I humbly ask for your help because I have no car, no apartment, because my savings are running out, and because I live off the generous donations of my loved one. Fisher says that your donations will help him buy a new truck and cover travel expenses while continuing to find communities that support post-traumatic growth. During the campaign, Fisher has been completely honest with people about his condition, why he needs this money, and how the donated money is going to help him in different areas. For me, post-traumatic growth includes retreat centers, trauma programs, exotic healers, creators, and spiritual leaders. This this is what the fundraisers are for, he said on Tuesday afternoon, pointing to raising over $4,500 from a $40,000 goal. While Fisher did not name Gaga, many followers tagged the 35-year-old singer and longtime friend of Fisher. Why didn't Lady Gaga help you? She is willing to offer $500,000 to get her dogs back safely, so I think giving you $40,000 would not be a big drop. One follower asked while other fans insisted she would help with medical bills. In the incident, the dogs, Koji and Gustav, were kidnapped, but they were safely returned to Gaga. James Jackson, Jalen White, and Lafayette Whaley were arrested for kidnapping and attempted murder. With this, everything is sorted for Lady Gaga, but what about Fisher? This just doesn't sound like justice done to humanity. A good deed should not go under the carpet like a waste, and we hope that Fisher gets his part of justice as soon as possible. People are suggesting to Fisher many ways to deal with the situation, so we would like to know your take on the situation. Share your thoughts in the comments section below. If you found the video helpful, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to share the video with everyone. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.